Um, this is Alex Duckett and Ollie Thornton um, demonstrating how our skills have progressed in Final Cut Pro. Uh, yeah. So, firstly, I'm going to demonstrate how you use the colour correction. Uh, you can see here this clip and this clip are a, a different colour, different tone of lighting. If I wanted to get those two clips to be the same, I would select the clip that I want to I want to use the colour from. Um, I'll then go to colour and select match colour, and I'd match the colour from this clip to that clip. And you can see here the process is undergoing. And now there is a clear lighter tone to the to the clip that matches this clip, rather than the yellowy kind of thing that I had in before. Alright, that's cool. Um, a useful tool is also knowing uh, how to use the blade tool, especially if you want to cut certain bits of footage uh, and place them in a different part of the clip. Or if the middle of a clip needs cutting out and you want to keep the other two bits, you could blade the middle of it out. Yeah, it's useful. Alright. Blade tool, you go up to this bar here and select blade. You would then cut any part of the clip you wanted. So that bit is now its own section of the clip that you can either move or delete uh, to fit your production. Uh, yeah, so now if I go back to select, that is now its own clip that I can move there or even delete. Uh, yeah, so it's a helpful tool. When analysing a uh, clip like we did for our analysis, our texture analysis of our production, knowing how to use the uh, text tool is very useful because um, yeah, you can add text to the clip whilst it's playing. So yeah, it's very good. Yeah. So to add text to a clip, you would um, go to T for text. You can then pick any type of uh, text of your choice. Um, I'm going to use the basic, oh wait, start that again, where is like the, I think that's... Just do the basic title, oh, the top basic, no, right, okay. Um, to add, no wait, wait, hold on, hold on, go now. To add a uh, text to a uh, clip, you go over here to the T, um, you could then select any type of text of your choice, I'm going to use the basic title. You then drag it over the part of the clip that you want it um, and then you would select it and then type, you could type anything of your choice. So for example this is a two shot, so I'm going to type two shot and then that will appear on the screen Click over the text. when it comes up. You can then you can extend the amount of time that the text is on the screen to very long or very short. All right, this is how you uh, use a fade out or a dissolve for an edit. I'll show you both. Uh, very similar in the in the way that you do it. But That's all right, fade out. Right, the editing tool of the fade out um, can be useful in between clips, such as these two clips here. So you go onto the edits. And then you want to go into dissolves. Oh, I went the wrong thing. Fuck. Right, to edit the clip, you go onto this toolbar and you then click the editing. And you want to use a cross dissolve to dissolve in between two clips. So I'll drag it and create the transition. Select create transition. And also, you might want to uh, fade to black at the end of a clip. You see here, the screen's gone black. Um, you drag this to the end of the clip, and then the clip here, once it's finished, should fade to black. And we use this quite a lot in our production. Right, editing video. Thank you. See you later.